we're gonna I'm gonna pull up my sleeve because I don't want them to get dirty. Um we are gonna be making some um just with this stuff. Um, it's already pre-made. We just have to heat it up in the um pan. So no it's just gonna be a bean free casserole. I mean not casserole, um chili. So what we're gonna do and then we gotta we're gonna use some of this. They're just like regular hot dogs or hamburger buns. Um so yeah. And then we're gonna use some of these black beans. Um they're black beans, um that's so gonna be inside the um thing. Sorry guys. Um so what I'm gonna do and then um we need this. So what I'm gonna do, um, this is glass by the way. Um, I put this like that, and then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Hold on, what kind of cheese is this? Mild cheddar, it says mild cheddar cheese. Don't worry, my hands are clean, and it looks like this, you guys. So I'm just going to um, slice it like this. You want a very good amount. Cause you don't want it too big because if it's too big, then um, the slices won't come out right uh, and stuff and the chili won't come out right. So you don't want it too, too big. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys what they're gonna look like. I did clean the counter before then, you guys, so don't judge. What's up, pug? So let me show you guys what they're, what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have to look like, sort of like this. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's like... That. So um, I'm going to do a little bit more and then yeah, so um, this, they're not going to, this is not going to um, get heated until um, we heat it up in the oven, so I do need to turn on the oven soon, so yeah. Oh god, you guys are going to fall. So guys, you just need one cup of this, it's cheese, um, it's shredded like really, really small. Um, it was a block of cheese. Um, it was, um, let me see which one. It was this one I used. That one. And then you're going to need a pan about this big. So, as I was saying um, before, um, I thought I was recording. And I wasn't. So, you're going to need this. Drain out the beans. I mean, the juice from the beans. But, um... We're just going to put it all in here to start off with, and then we're going to mix it. So let me go, um, because these have to thaw out a little bit more before um, we put those into the um, thing. So um, that's what we're going to do. So, yeah. So let's go do it. I'm gonna go get the can opener, you guys. So drain out as much as you can of that black stuff. Um, and then just um, pour it in here like this. We may only need just one. Not sure. And then um, we're gonna uh, just wait on it. And then it's just supposed to look like this. 
And then we're going to get a cup of um, sour cream. Or we'll just do um, one of these. We'll do um, one and a half cups like that of um, sour cream. We got the sweet sour cream, and yes, it's still good. You guys, um, we just don't have much in here. Okay, so I put as much as I could get out of there. So you're going to do this, and then put it... And if you need, you might need a spoon to like mix it or whatever. But, you know, I shouldn't, you know. Don't, um, come to me. As I was saying before, my parents' dog really interrupted me. We're gonna have multiple things of this, but, um, I've already put it in here so it's going to look like this, and then we're gonna wanna mix it all together. Mix it as best as we can like this. I didn't put only I only put a cup of cheese, but you guys gotta look at the bottom. Because my boyfriend is lactose intolerant, he thinks. But he still can handle cheese. I don't know I don't know what that means. So So yeah, um, you're gonna have to butter this pan up, um, before then, but I just didn't because, um, I still need to put the chili on the stove to heat it up. So this is what it should look like when you're done uh, mixing it with the sour cream. Um, so, um, let's get this into a, uh, pot. So let me go get the pot real quick, you guys. So I got the pot, um, now we're going to put this mixture over here, just to settle, um, we might need that, so I'm going to open this, oh, I thought I was going to need something for that, ooh, this stuff smells really good, you guys, I'll show you guys what it is in a second. We're going to try to get as much out of here as we can. Let me open this a little bit more. I'll be right back, you guys, um, when this is all, like, out, because, um, my hands are very dirty, and, you know, do you guys what it looks. It smells really good. I don't know what's in it, you guys, but I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. So, guys, it looks like this, and here's the name of it. I don't know where my dad got this from, because my, um, my biological dad did, not my stepdad. I'll take a picture of it, um, when it's, um, of the chili package that I got, so, you guys can see what I put in it, um, I'll take a picture of everything at the end, so you guys know what I put in it and how much stuff to put in it, 
Um, you can add as much cheese as you guys. So I thought this butter, you guys, um, it's blue butter. I don't know how to read that last word. So what I'm gonna do is just get a paper towel. This is how um I learned how to do it when I was in um cooking class in high school. And thought you wrap this up, get a little bit of butter, like maybe not that much, but much. And then you go all around the pan. Even this side, because you don't want nothing sticking because that does have cheese in it. And if you need a little bit more, just get as much as you need. Until it looks like this. All buttered up. Okay, that is bubbling, you guys. So I'm going to go check it real quick. And then I'll be right back. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to that. I don't know if you guys can hear it bubbling, but it needs to like, go like, I don't know if you guys can ever see that, but it needs to, you know. So I think that is good. Do that, but it needs to, you know. So I think that is good. This mixture. Move that aside. And then um, grab our pan. And just, you know, sorry. And then just pour all the chili in here. If we need, we could always add more, you guys. You can add as much as you guys like to your preferred, to your um, liking. I can't tell you what not, how much cheese or something, but. Okay, I thought we lost the spoon for a second there. Hold on. We're gonna put the spoon in there, put that pan back on the stove, and then we're gonna do this. Take that spoon out real quick. Then we're gonna mix. I have to put a little bit more sour cream in, you guys. I don't know. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to just put it in that pot because it's not um, mixing well or very right.
So we're gonna keep this um measuring bowl in case like we have to measure something else. So I don't know if I'm gonna end up putting it, anything else in here. Now I'm gonna taste a little bit of it. I'm gonna just taste it to make sure that it's good. Might be a little hot. Needs a little bit more sour cream. That's about how much I'm going to put in this right now. I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning to you guys just because um, it has no flavor. I mean, it has flavor to it, but not a good enough amount of flavor. So let me taste it again. That's good. Well, what we're gonna add to it, you guys, is um, um, onion powder. And some of this. Onion powder. And then some of this. Which is this. Which is that. Put as much as you prefer. I'm not going to tell you how much to put of that because, you know. I was going to put actual onions in it, but then I was like, I don't feel like cutting onions, you know. <laughs> ah! The dogs are going nuts. So I'll be right back, you guys. Um, I need to go um, check who's outside because the dogs are just going stupid. So guys, um, I'm gonna just keep mixing it. Okay, oh, I just filled it. But um, I might need to add a, this stuff stand up my nose and I, I, I. So let me see this. For some reason, you guys, there's flavor to it but not a hot enough flavor. And I'm looking for that hot enough flavor. Not the second time or the third time I put that in there, so. Let me taste a little bit, not much. You can taste a little bit of it, but not much. So, what I'm gonna um, do, you guys, put a little bit of this in. It's Louisiana, it's Louisiana hot sauce, not much. I'm so sorry about that, you guys. Um, this is that. 
So we're gonna actually put some of this in there too. I already have the counter out. Then we're gonna drain the juice as well. I don't think there's any juice in this. There is, but not much. Okay, that's all of it. Mostly all of it, but you know. So let's taste it, you guys. My nose is really running right now. So let's taste it. Pretty good. What we're going to do now is just put a little pinch of jalapeno juice in it to make it a little warm and spicier. Um, the buns are um, softened. Um, they'll get a little softened more in the oven. Um, so I'm going to preheat the oven to about 375. And this top thing right here, you guys, don't work anymore because it, I don't know how it broke, but it just broke. Okay, so. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't know if I'm doing this right, you guys. Oh, wait. Okay, so when the timer goes off, you guys, we gotta put it in. So we're gonna, actually, before we do that, we're going to um, get the buns ready into the bottom of the pan. Watch out, baby. No, it's the oven. No, it's okay. It's okay, they're a little frozen still, you guys. Oh, what am I doing? So this is what they're going to look like in here, and then we're going to just pour the stuff on top, and then, yeah. I don't know, it doesn't look like I'm wearing my glasses, but I am, you guys. So, hi guys, um, let me move some of this stuff out of the way, um, like this. So, this is what it's going to look like. It's not going to look perfect in the bottom of the pan, but it's going to look like this. And then we're going to pour some of this in there. I'm going to get a, um... Tub, so I can do it without making a mess. But before I do that, we're going to put a little bit more cheese on it. Just a little bit, you guys.
So this is what it's gonna look like. Um, not too much cheese, to tell you the truth, you guys. You guys are gonna be putting cheese throughout the layers. So not too much cheese on the bottom layer. So let's um, get this measuring cup and just grab a it. on that's what that's what basically you're gonna do you're gonna layer them with this and then put more cheese more this more cheese more this more cheese and then this and then you're done and then guys it just sort of look like this um i'm gonna turn the light on because it's a little dark. you're gonna want to spread it around um, the bottom layer spread around and then put the buns on like that and then sprinkle more cheese on it and then do the same thing with this and then yeah the oven has that much time so um we're gonna put it in i'm gonna cover that with um some saran wrap or not saran wrap um tin foil so um i can um Take this to babe and his roommate. So, yeah. so let's get to um doing this, you guys, because we need to put more cheese. Yeah, more cheese. But we're gonna do um a bigger type of thing of cheese, like I don't know, like so we're gonna do this one. This one. So it comes out a little bit bigger. Because, you know, we need bigger cheese. You're just gonna want to spread it around, I guess. Um, Lulu's eating some dog food, so that's what you hear munching in the background. So yeah. So the oven is done. So what I'm gonna do is not put too much cheese. That's a good amount of a layer of cheese. Let me get the rest of this out of here, you guys. And then you're gonna want to put um, some more of this on here. And then yeah. It's making my nose run like really bad, you guys. And then grab your tool and then spread it around this. Get a little bit more and then do it like this. And then spread it around one more time. Just make sure that's all coated. Put more cheese. And then we're going to toss it in the oven. So that's what basically what you're going to do with this. Why are you washing it? I don't know. 
put in there for a bit. How long? Like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Put it the um, middle of it and the cheese. Should probably put it in there for, mm, say, 20 minutes. And then uh, you check it. If it's not done. I'm afraid I'm going to drop that. I'm afraid I'm going to drop that. Why did you use this? Because I didn't want to make it too big. Oh. Ooh. Cook time. 20 minutes? Did you shit yourself? Rebecca. No, it smells like somebody took a shit. It's smoking, I guess. Mm -hmm. Did you like the food last night? <gasps> oh, yeah. That's cool. I ate that shit up. I was like, mm -hmm. that shit. Good. And let me tell you someone else, bro. I'm about to give me some more of that later on today. Ooh, ooh, girl, you better believe I'm gonna get me some of that.